Right now we want to tell you about a group of bird watchers in Newport who have been keeping an eye on a falcon's nest that's been filled with chicks that are really at this point just trying to survive. Yeah, this drama has been playing out live on a webcam that was focused on their nest. Devin Haskins is following the story and joins us live. Devin. Yeah, this peregrine falcon's nest is about 75 feet up on a uh, cliffside near the uh, Yaquina Head Lighthouse down in Newport. Now, bird watchers say that the mom hasn't been seen in a month, most likely died. The dad took over parenting duties. He hasn't been seen in a week. Primarily, these cliffs are where they live, and this is, you know, prime habitat for for the birds. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this for them. And Yil Fogarty is one of the many bird watchers keeping an eye on a falcon's nest high on these cliffs. They're, they're just amazing birds. I mean, they're, they're, they're extremely athletic. They're fast. They, they just put you in awe in their day-to-day -day actions on what they do. And the four chicks that hatched are now orphans. It's believed mom died about a month ago. Dad hasn't been seen in a week. And without parents to teach them to hunt and survive, they'll starve. The plight of the four chicks is playing out through a live feed. Prior to mom leaving, a camera was set up by friends of Yaquina Lighthouses as a way to watch the nest. Organizers had no idea the drama that would unfold. On Wednesday, one fell out and died. Another fell later in the afternoon, and then one jumped down. One chick was rescued. The other is still missing. The Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, owns the land. The nest and birds fall under Oregon Fish and Wildlife and U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Matt Bettinson with BLM says all three are working together to figure out the next steps. Bird rescue groups have even offered to step in and help. But the plan right now is not to intervene and let nature take its course. Once we interject that human intervention into the system, um, we likely stop the process of ending up with a wild falcon, which is really the ultimate goal. And bird watchers disagree. Why, why do we have bird rescue centers and raptor centers? And, you know, if we're not going to take care of the wildlife when we find it in distress, I mean, it makes no sense. Well, one thing with the uh, let nature take its course, BLM says that um, there's falcons seen in the area and they're hoping maybe one of those falcons will foster or adopt, you know, so to speak, you know, one of the, the baby chicks. The, the camera that was on there has been turned away. Uh, the, the group that manages it says they've turned it away basically because with all that you just saw, it's getting harder and harder to watch. Back yeah, to you. no doubt. Let us know what happens. Devin, thank you much.